The event following the sprint track carry will be the leg tuck. The leg tuck is designed to test the endurance of your core, hip flexors, back, bicep, and forearm muscles. The only piece of equipment required for this is a pull-up bar. You'll have two minutes to perform as many leg tucks as possible. You'll need to rep out 20 or more leg tucks in order to receive a max score of 100 points. This event will determine your ability to crush obstacle courses and your ability to conquer demanding tasks such as rope climbs. Today we're going to present five exercises to help you obtain a score of 100 for your leg tuck. The first of these will be laying banded walks. This is a great exercise to begin warming up your core. Banded walks target the psoas muscle, the critical muscle which connects your upper and lower body, more specifically, your lower spine and femur bones, and is the muscle responsible for pulling your legs up into your torso. Begin by laying with your back on the floor. Connect a resistance band between your feet and simulate an extended bicycle motion with your legs so that one leg crunches in as far as you can make it go while the other leg extends fully. Focus on squeezing your core tight and continuously extending that range of motion. If you don't have a band, practice hanging on the bar and bring your knees up as high as you can into your chest. The next exercise will be negative pull-ups or banded pull-ups. This is a great exercise for those who struggle completing one or just over one pull-up. The reverse motion will still tear those muscle fibers in the lats and will prepare your body to hang on that bar for as long as possible. To complete multiple reps of the reverse pull-up, use a band to assist you. Try to complete six to eight reps. To build off this exercise, complete four reps with the band on the pull-up bar. Anyone can benefit off this exercise and it is probably the best method to boost that pull-up personal record. The next exercise will be the reverse bench press. This exercise is exactly what it sounds like. You can target all different areas of the back depending on how you grip it. Place the barbell a few feet off the ground and lay directly underneath it. To stimulate the same muscles used for the leg tuck, try holding the hands out, palm up, slightly closer than shoulder width, and pull the bar to the center of your chest while tucking your elbows in close to your body. The next exercise will be the elevated tuck and twist. This is one of my favorite exercises to develop core strength and really hit those obliques. This exercise will resemble the same movement conducted on a leg tuck, but now with more rotation. Sit at the end of a bench with your arms behind your body. Shoot your legs out so your body is nearly parallel and tuck your knees towards either your left or right shoulder, creating a twist in your torso. Large volume is recommended for this exercise, so shoot for 25 to 30 reps. To add a little bit of a challenge, place a light dumbbell between your feet while completing this exercise. The final exercise will be toes to bar or knee to chest. Toes to bar is a fairly complex movement, but is one of the best to strengthen your core, back, and forearm muscles. As your toes go forward and flick towards the bar, push against the bar so that your head goes backwards, away from the window which your arms create. When you touch the bar with your toes, shoot your toes down and behind you while shooting your chest forward and throwing your head through the same window. If you are having trouble with this, focus on knees to chest. Focus on your knees pulling in close to your torso and then pull extending, controlling your legs down after each rep.